Hi, my name is Marissa Scabaloni. Hi, my name is Joshua May and Wellzilla. Hi, my name is Elijah Hensman. Hi, my name is Diane Dadbeva. Hi, my name is Corey Emlin. Hi, my name is Nicole Dumuku. Hi, my name is Trevor Dumuku. Hi, my name is Misty Lapane. Hello, my name is Matthew Buzwali. Hi, my name is Nabea Smith. Hi, my name is Brooke Smith. Hi, my name is Symphony Smith. Hello, my name is Christopher James Goudreau. Hi, my name is Nadine Hewton. Hi, my name is Josie Caradonda. Hi, my name is Christelle Williams. Hi, my name is Joseph Bouchard. Hi, my name is Kiara gorn Hi, my name is Huli Bohra. Hi, my name is Avery Duggan. Hi, my name is Naima Baza. Hi, my name is Emily Finney. Hi, my name is Ethan Finney. Hi, my name is Adam Lusher. Hi, my name is Natalie Veldheisen. Hi, my name is Jeff Foto. Hi, my name is Leah Tiveron. Hello, my name is Trinae Webster. Hi, my name is Isabel Finley. Hi, my name is Nicholas Cotty. I grew up in a Christian household. My grandfather was a pastor for many years, and so my family was very involved in the church. After he retired, we had a really hard time finding a home church that we felt very connected to, and ultimately we stopped going. When I became a teenager, I had a really hard time finding my way back, and I ended up very lost. Um, I really struggled to find my way back to God, and I thought that I knew better and that my plan was better than God's ultimately. And as an adult now, um, I realized that it's my responsibility to to find my way back and to give my life back to God and to surrender that to Him. Since doing that, I felt this overwhelming peace that I'm on the right path and it is starting to change my life and I'm really excited to see what comes. I was born into a Christian household. I decided to get baptized when I was fairly young, but my parents said that it wasn't time because when you're about like five years old, it's not exactly the best time to decide. So when I was 14, I fully decided and I understood that I want to get baptized. Ever since I started going to Parkwood, I've always felt something pushing me. But I always like hesitated and didn't want to go until May when it was announced that the New Life Sunday happening on June 4th. Something inside of me said, that's the day. And so that's when I decided I'm going to get baptized. Jesus took my life and completely flipped it. I was in like a bad stage and he came into my life when I needed it the most. Before Christ, I was never truly happy and I, didn't say, I would say I didn't have any good role models in my life. I met Christ through and through youth group and going to church on Sundays. After I met Christ, I, I can say I'm truly happy and all the people I've met and role models has completely changed my life for the better. One thing I want to take away from this is if you don't know Jesus, he will completely change your life and you will realize how great he is and you'll be so lucky to call him your Lord and Savior. Before I encountered Jesus in my life, I felt hopeless, I felt depressed, angry and anxious about everything that was happening in my life. My mom passed away when I was four years old, so I grew up with my grandparents in a very restrictive Islamic environment. Most of my childhood, I heard my grandma saying that I should be afraid of God and uh, be ashamed of people. So you're going to hell was the word that I mostly heard every day in my life. In 2016, I went to poster cell at the university and uh, one poster from Corinthians 13, 4, 7 captured my eyes. It was about love. And back then I didn't know that was from Bible. Came back home and I hanged up on my wall and I kept on reading, reading. Tears just flooded. And that night I went to bed. I had Jesus Christ in my dream that night. And from that on, Holy Spirit started doing its work in my life. A friend of mine brought me to Parkwood Church after a while. When I came to Parkwood, it felt like I'd never ever been in a such place in my life. So it felt like I found home. It felt like very homey. Then I attend um, Alpha Course in 2021. And that's when, I, when my life-changing experience started. After knowing that God loves me, I have so much hope and I have so much trust and uh, I have a positive mindset to go through all the challenges in my life. I gave my life to Jesus and uh, can't wait for the next step to get baptized. I was feeling a little lost, um, not sure where I was going in life. I started to seek a couple years back and it brought me to something bigger than me. And in my heart, it felt right to just keep searching and, and it brought me to Jesus. I reached out to friends, reached out to loved ones who, who had faith and it really started to resonate with me. I started to uh, study the Bible and that was a beautiful thing for me and the feelings I would get, it felt whole 
I think that going deeper was the option. And I went deeper and in Jesus and the wholeness that I felt, the love that was given to me through the Bible and learning and growing and God, it was amazing. And then I found Parklet and here we are. I'm getting baptized. I was baptized as a child, but now it's my choice. And it is how I want to live my life. I grew up in a Christian family, so I've known Jesus all my life. I've always felt like being a Christian and serving Jesus was something that my parents made me do. But now as a, grow as a young teenager, I want to connect with God on a deeper level and experience Jesus for myself. Today, I'm taking a step to be baptized in obedience to God's word and publicly declare Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. I've grown up in a Christian household for most of my life. Because of that, I've known Jesus from a very young age. And despite all of that, it seems as though I, I always had my doubts about Him. And it prevented me from building a better relationship with God. Upon recommitting my life back to Jesus, I let go of all my doubts and my deepest secrets that He already knew. Ever since then, I've always wanted to be baptized. And the act I'm taking to be baptized is is in obedience to God's word, as he also calls us to do it in the Bible, publicly declaring that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I'm going to be following him for the rest of my life. God has given me a second chance at life. That's why I want to get baptized, and I want to live for God and continue going to church, studying the word of the Bible, and just being in the presence of the Lord. So prior to knowing Jesus uh, for a long time, I struggled with mental uh, health issues. I struggled with addiction issues. Um, I've chosen to, to become baptized uh, today to further my, my relationship with God and Jesus and uh, just to become a better person and a better Christian. Um, I've decided to be baptized because it, there's just such an amazing feeling with having the Lord in your life and it's better than anything that I've ever felt in my life before the Lord. I've always known Him and I've always loved Him, but I truly found Him in a relationship with Him on my own about two years ago. And feeling the joy that He gives me and the peace and His presence, there's nothing that the world could ever do that for me. It's only Him and I will always be here to live for Him and to praise Him and to worship Him. There's no joy that good. So that's why I'm here to be baptized because I love Him and I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hi, I'm here today to get baptized. Um, I've always wanted to get baptized, but kind of put it aside. But now I think today is the day that I should get baptized. The last couple of months, he's been, um, I guess, weighing in on my heart. You know, I read to him every day now. Also, I pray all the time. It's truly the best feeling. I'm still learning, but I think I have a lot more to learn. I want to continue to praise Him and give the Lord my heart and my soul. Um, and I think that's the best for me and my children. I want to be baptized because I believe in Jesus and I want to know Him better and I want Him to know me better. I have grown up in the church my whole life and accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I have decided to get baptized because I want to obey His word and follow Him for the rest of my life. I'm so thankful for all He has done and can't wait to see all of His amazing plans He has for me. I am fragile. God is strong. I have trust and faith that God will lift, lift me up when I am weak. I am here, Parkwood. I'm ready. Jesus, you are enough for me. Amen. Uh, I've been coming here for a long time, and for a long time I wanted to become a true lover of Jesus. I love Jesus. It feels beautiful to think of Jesus and what He can do for us. And I do anything to follow Him. I would like to get baptized because I want to get closer to God and I want to be saved. When I was younger, I'd go to church sometimes. As I got like older, like I started reading my Bible and like I started to understand that like the way I was living, I mean, I wasn't doing much bad stuff, but like if I turned to God for stuff and like made me understand more about life, I want to be baptized to like get closer to God and turn my life around. Forty years ago, I was water baptized. I walk away from God, the church, and my family. 
due to my anger and my stubbornness. A friend of mine asked me to come to Parkwood service. I accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and my Lord. I'm here today to recommit my life and baptize for Him. Amen. Alleluia. So being baptized to me symbolizes a rebirth as a believer. It really embarks a, a life-changing mission for me, whereas before I walked through life without faith and I sort of struggled for answers with everything that I did. And now I want to walk through life with faith guiding me and let Jesus take the wheel. And I also want to commit to loving others around me with Christ-like grace. Before I knew Jesus, I always felt lonely and unsatisfied, but now I'm fully satisfied in the Lord. When I was younger, I only believed in God because of my mom, but now it's a personal relationship between Him and I. The moment I decided to follow Jesus was at an online Bible study four years ago. After this moment, Jesus filled me with an unexplainable peace. He shows me what true love is every single day, and I'm thankful for that. Jesus has brought me a lot of happiness, and now I have great friends that I'm able to grow with. As a kid, I didn't grow up in the church, so I was never fully introduced to Jesus until I was around 12. But it wasn't until I was around 15 that I really decided that I wanted to center Him as the most important thing in my life. Before I knew Jesus, I was really only living for the world, and I didn't know what true love felt like until I developed a strong relationship with Him. I knew what that felt like, and I knew what it felt like to be truly loved by Him. Now I know that I never want to live without Him again, and I only want to follow Him for the rest of my life. So I've always known God, but our relationship was very one-sided. He knew everything about me, but I never took the time to really get to know Him. When I did finally get to know Him, everything just shifted. The way I seen the world and the way I seen myself was in a totally different way. I found truth, I found purpose, and I'm just thankful that He opened my eyes. I fell in love with God, and now I can say that I do know Him personally, and I just want my life to reflect the love that I have for Him. I've known about Jesus my whole life. I decided to follow Jesus because I realized how much I needed Him in my life. I realized how much He loved me and how much I needed Him. There is no one else who loves me like Jesus. He accepts me for who I am and loves me unconditionally. It's hard to remember my life before Jesus. Um, I decided to accept Jesus when I was a kid in kids ministry, but I've just always really known him my whole life. It's really hard to think of my life without Jesus. He's been with me this whole time and I just know I'm never alone and it's just really easy to do things all through him and he's always helpful with me. I've come to this church uh, to be baptized for many reasons. Uh, one being um, my friend Craig. It seemed that every question I had, he had an answer to. I truly believe that God did put him in my path to help me walk through the door myself. After all these questions he'd answer, I said, what's the next step? And he said, the next step would be to get baptized. I had a question is what makes me worthy, you know, of, of his love when I haven't gone to church, read the Bible, and he's like, it's all about faith. And when God comes into your life, I believe that God, through him, came into my life at this time in my life for a reason. I have decided to follow Jesus because I truly believe that taking him as our Lord and Savior is the answer, the answer to everything. I want to go through that adventure. It's an adventure, and I want to follow in Jesus' adventure. I was raised um, Catholic, so I always knew and loved God, and I always found that I could turn to him when I was being bullied or I faced various struggles since I was a kid. COVID happened, and then also my brother had um, died of a drug overdose. I kind of turned away from God for a little while, and then I ended up meeting um, my fiance. He supported my Christian beliefs. Ultimately now, we decided to commit ourselves again to God so that we can um, put God at the center of our relationship and the center of our marriage. I was adopted by a practicing Catholic family when I was nine years old, and I was baptized as a young boy. God's always been a part of my life, but I've never really been a fully committed Christian. It's important to me to be baptized as an adult. I'm gonna be marrying my fiance who is, who is also Christian, and it will help me to lead my family as a Christian man. I grew up in a Christian home. I've always loved Jesus, but never really got to know him until now, and I'm very happy I did. 
God has really changed my life. I couldn't imagine my life without Him, and I'm very excited for this next step with my walk with Jesus. I know it is my faith in Christ that was truly what brought me through to graduating this year with my bachelor's in science and nursing degree. Now that I've done this, I realize and I look back and I know that it was through constant prayer that I've gone through uh, challenging um, tests and sleepless nights. And I just know that I want to give myself to the Lord in a public way when previously I've been more private with my faith. And I'm looking forward to getting baptized today. I have decided to get baptized because I want everyone to know that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I want to grow in a closer relationship with God. Well, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in 2007 when I was in my early teens. At the time, I was nervous to get baptized, and I eventually drifted away from the church. But after a few years, I realized that pursuing a relationship with Christ was foundational to my life and uh, leading a fulfilled life. So I returned to the church, and after a few years of online gatherings, I decided that now that I'm back in person, it's the best time to renew my commitment to following Jesus. I have decided to follow 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 Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I have 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 decided to follow Jesus. 